We're here with John Elder Robeson, the author of Look Me in the Eye and Be Different. And his new book is called Raising Cubby. John, tell us a little bit about your new book. Well, it's a story of parenting, of uh, Raising Cubby, who's full grown here and all the stuff we did together when he was little and then the trouble we had when he was older. Tell me about the time you drove a Rolls Royce onto a, was it a power plant? or a, a train yard or somewhere? Well, we took the Rolls Royce to tra the train yards because if we went in an ordinary car, the railroad police would throw us out, but people in Rolls Royces can't be trespassers in rail yards. And, and I told him Cubby was a stockholder. I bought him stock. Yeah. What's another crazy story from the book? What do you think's a crazy story from the book, Cubby? Um, well, I don't know. I mean, the whole sort of second half of it, you know, with the the fiasco is a kind of crazy story, but it's kind of long. So what do you think is the best part of the book? Not going to jail in the end. I agree, yeah. Not going yeah. to jail is the best part, yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about why you ha were facing jail time. Um, I had a interest in chemistry. A lot of people, uh, a lot of autistic people have, you know, special interests and hobbies, and mine was chemistry. And I was making, you know, fireworks and explosives and that type of thing and the people at the state didn't really see it as an innocent hobby and they sort of went after me, so. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything in writing this book that you, you uncovered that you didn't realize at the time? Well, just all the trouble it is raising a kid, you know, who would have thought that? I mean, nobody would even have purchased a kid like that if they knew how much trouble it would be when I was looking at him at the kid store all those years ago. Wasn't that the original title of the book? The best kid in the store, yeah. And, and I took him to see the store where I bought him, but it had turned into a pet store. And even though the cages were the same, he didn't recognize his cage. Oh. <laughs> uh, is there anything else that you want to add about the book? What do you want to add about the book? Nothing in particular. I don't know. Well, why should people read it, Cubby? It's an interesting story, you know. Not too many people get in trouble for this type of thing. And, um, you know, not too many people do this type of thing. So it's kind of a... You know, kind of rare story, I guess. So it's like parenting at its best. Yeah. yeah. Raising Cubby. Yeah. Cool. So thank you for joining us. Woof.